are again. Ready to clean up the mess that we're in. As you can see, I've got a section of tower here. I've got some bare metal. I've got some primer. And I got some rust paint on top of that. And it's all patchy and I've cleaned up all the loose garbage. So I am going to attempt to recover what I've got here. So my first attempt is to get some primer down on the bare galvanized spots and patches. And what I'm going to use, I went to an automotive shop and I've picked up a can of zinc chromate primer for aluminum and galvanized steel surfaces. So as we can see, it's going to be yellowish. I was unable to get any gray or red oxide primer. The only thing that was available was white with the trim clad. So I picked up this can. I resigned myself to the fact that I'm not going to get a uh, primer that's uh, going to be unnoticeable. And I guess there's probably a reason for that. So I'm going to have this yellow primer, and of course, uh, uh, I'll put the trim clad. 517 coating on top of that. So that's the master plan. Let's get started. Okay, let's take a closer look again at what I have to deal with. All right, here we go. The primer is all applied. Okay, let that dry. There's a little rough edges. I'll scrape those off. the top coat. Getting the end of the season here. Hopefully the weather will hold out and I can finish off the top coat. Don't think I'm going to be able to get the cement base installed. It's going to have to wait till next year. So I'll just get these two sections done. I think what I'll try to do is maybe I can set them up temporarily during the winter just so I can get my antenna up 16 feet and uh, hopefully uh, I can be able to do that. Well conditions have favored. I've got four hours so uh, I'm already started. I've got everything primered up and I'm just putting on the final layer. I've uh, made a slight change. I went with uh, a darker color creme clad called Leather Brown. Uh, just going to be a little darker than uh, what I had before. So uh, that's uh, a good thing. So you can see that uh, I've already got started here a little bit. More to do. i got a couple hours, so I better get going. Finally got these things done. Had to wait a long time for the weather to uh, get good for uh, painting, so uh, there was delays in that respect, but finally, some good weather. And finally, can finish this project on the priming and painting.
Well, it's gonna have to do for six months. I think it should. Let's see, I put in some uh, boat bumpers there between the mast or the uh, tower and my deck here. And I've just got it strapped down with some uh, winching tie downs. Got one there. And got one up a little higher. So that should survive the winter. I didn't put the uh, ground plane on. I'm, uh, you know, since this is such a low setup here, I'm not sure it'll just, the radials will just barely clear my deck, but. Uh, I may change my mind in the next little, little while. Well, here's the uh, other side of things from the deck. No ground plane, but uh, the base there is about uh, 13 feet. Plus another 28. It's gonna have to do for the winter. I think it will. Using uh, RG 8X, 50 feet. There's a couple of my tie downs. Just have it uh, weather protected there. These tie downs, the straps are weather protected according to what they're saying. So it should, uh, should last a winter. They secure uh, one angle of the tower. I think what I may do is I might put another one right about there and secure the other leg of that tower. It's pretty stable right now. It's been windy today. It hasn't budged. So. And I'll reroute that cable, make it a little tighter. I just wanted to get this going. That's it for a while.